Now, my song is called Paul Allen. It's a song on, uh, this is based on the movie American Psycho. Um, and for the soundscape of the song, I want to just maybe do some little e-punk, which e-punk is kind of like you have rock music, but you're making it on your laptop like we're doing. And, well, you don't have access to a full band, but I like bands, you know, like um, I made a playlist and it has the song inspirations that I believe you should listen to. I have a link it and in a way I, I am combining the two sounds. I'm combining bands like Nirvana and Foo Fighters and whatnot with the modern synth sound and modern production techniques and that's why my song works. That's why it's good. So I believe you should before uh, making a song or producing one, listen to a couple songs for a bit to, to get your ear and your mind used to the sound, the melodies, the chords, the rhythm, the everything. And, you know, you kind of triangulate yourself, like, uh, in between, like, what kind of sound you want. And I believe once you just get to making it, making your song, uh, I'll just be like what you've listened to before and here's the thing you can steal you know there is no shame if you can steal and get away with it like so what you know even if you can't get away with it here's the thing art is a remix okay art does not exist in a vacuum art so how do artists make great art they get inspired by other art you look at other art other artists they're like oh that's good I don't really like that. Okay, that's good. You kind of that, that's how you develop as an artist. You just take what you like and take what you don't like. So, um, if you listen to my playlist that I made, you can hear my song inspirations. It, it's very clear. Um, I would love to go through my inspirations one by one, but um, there's copyright laws and stuff like that. So, I don't think I should put it in my course. But yeah, just listen to those songs and okay, think like okay, this is how it's gonna sound. This is what I'm trying to make. So I, I took the production element from the um, kind of more modern uh, punk, uh, not as they're called e-punk, I guess, e-punk songs and the songwriting from songs like bands such as Nirvana. And, you know, combine it, it sounds good. So go listen to that. Go check it out. I'm going to talk about structure now.